Hello, this is Jacob Tucker, the creator and one of the developers of Toucans. And in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through the entire Toucans platform, all of the awesome features that it has, and how to create your own DAO and token. So before we get going, I just want to briefly mention that I am uh, you know, going through this demo on my local machine, so it's a lot faster. Um, but if you want to you know, test out your DAO before actually deploying it on the real website, you can use dev.toucans.ecdao.org. Um, this is a testnet version of the uh, site. So if you want to you know, create a DAO or token on the test version first, you can definitely do that here before actually going to the real you know, toucans.ecdao.org, which is the real version. But again, I'm going to be on my local machine for this demo just because it's a lot faster. So in short, Toucans allows you to create a token, launch a DAO, um, you know, either or, and uh, that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So let's just dive right into it. So I click generate DAO. I've already logged in um, and it, pre it presents me with this option. So, you know, we can either just simply launch a DAO or we can launch a DAO and a token. For this video, I'm going to be choosing the DAO and token option just because that has everything. However, as we go through this video, just note that the DAO option is actually the exact same. It just doesn't have the token stuff. So there's no funding rounds. There's no minting. There's no token created, right? Well, I'm going to be calling it YouTube in this video, like YouTube tokens. Um, but, you know, just that doesn't exist if you just click the DAO, the DAO option. So let's just go ahead with DAO and token. So for this DAO, right, uh, the first thing is the DAO name. So what I'm going to be calling this is just like YouTube DAO. I don't know why. I just look because this is getting posted on YouTube. That's what's popping in my head. So YouTube DAO. Now you'll notice it automatically fills in the contract name slot. I highly recommend just leaving that alone. It's uh, just the name of the smart contract that gets deployed. Remember when you when we you, when you uh, you know deploy this, it's going to actually deploy a smart contract to your you know account. Um, just keep that in mind. But um, I would just leave this alone. You can change it if you want, but there's no real reason to. Um, for the token name, I'm just going to be calling them uh, YouTube tokens. All right. Uh, for the logo, I'm just going to upload, you know, a, a, you know, our Emerald City logo for the banner. I'm just going to upload our banner. Um, I don't have recommended sizes here, but for the logo, it's a, any square logo will work totally fine. Um, and for the banner image, you know, just any image that is longer than it is tall. Um, again, I, I will go ahead and put recommended sizes here at some point. Um, for this video, I believe this banner is 1500 by 500. So if that helps, uh, that's great. So for the description, I'm just going to put a DAO for people who like YouTube. Um, and for the long description, you don't have to fill this in, but I'm just going to put a lot of text here just so that you can see what it ends up looking like when I deploy my DAO. Okay. So for the website, let's just put ecdao.org, uh, you know, the Twitter and also the Discord. You don't have to put these options, but they will appear on your project page if you fill them in. So tokenomics, this is um, definitely the, the most complicated portion, um, but it, it's, it's not that bad. So really all this is, the payment currency, um, this is just the one that you want to sell your token in. So one of the biggest features that comes with creating a token on this platform is the ability to have funding rounds. That is sell your token for either Flow or USDC. So for example, that's the equivalent of me saying, you know what, I want to make a funding round that starts on Friday and ends on Monday, where I'm going to sell one YouTube token for two flow token, right? That's the price that I'm setting. So if I want to sell my, my YouTube token for flow, I click flow. If I want to do it in USCC, click USCC. Um, it's that, that's, that's really all it is, right? You can't change this later. So it's important you get it right now. Um, the max supply, this is just the max supply of your created token. Um, in this case, I'm just going to say 1 million. Now, no, remember again, we are deploying a smart contract to your account. You are owning it. But the reason I'm mentioning this is because this max supply is enforced both on and off platform. It is uh, actually directly in the smart contract. So remember, you know, you can interact with the smart contract wherever, not just the Toucan's platform. And so this max supply will be enforced directly in the contract. So even if you go to mint tokens directly in the contract, this max supply will still be present inside of there. Now, the initial supply is just the initial supply of YouTube tokens or whatever your created token is. Um, in this case, I'm going to put 100 just to show you. 
And these tokens are actually minted to the DAO treasury. So not your personal wallet, but your per, but but the DAO treasury uh, instead. Okay, so edit delay, this is the last thing. Um, edit delay, it's, it's a lot of text here, but it's actually very simple. Edit delay is just the amount of time uh, that you that, that 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 you are allowed to edit your um, you know like uh, that, that you're allowed to edit your um, funding round before. So you again, your funding round will start on a certain day, right? So you can figure to say, okay, I want my funding round to start on Friday and end on Monday, right? Now this delay is the amount of time that you're saying you can't edit your funding round before it's starting. So let's say you put seven, right? What this means is if you're starting it on Friday, then a week before that, like the previous Friday, any time after that previous Friday, you can't edit it, right? So those those seven days before, you can't edit it anymore. Um, and that is to give greater trust in your community members, to tell them, listen, I'm going to basically freeze seven days before it starts where I can't edit anything about that round. I can't edit the price. I can't edit um, the start date, the end date, whatever it is, I can't edit it. I'm going to freeze it for seven days. Whereas if you put no delay, you as the project owner can edit it right up until the start date. Now we recommend no delay just because it's the simplest and easiest. However, um, you will actually probably get greater trust from your community or from people purchasing your token. Um, if you click seven days because, or the longer the delay is, because you're basically telling your community or your, your buyers, I'm not going to edit anything before that date. That's all it is. Um, now, this is the overview. Everything looks fine. So I'm going to click Generate DAO. And hopefully, fingers crossed, the demo gods are with us today. So I'm going to click Approve and start praying. And yes, it worked uh, totally fine. So um, on your end, when you're actually going to create the DAO, it's going to take a little bit longer. But again, I'm doing this on my local system. Okay. So a lot of peers. So let's just walk through this together. This is uh, on the left side where my mouse is. This is really just like, you know, the, the uh, you know, go to. This is your logo, your banner, the description, the token name, all your socials, all that. Now, remember, I was going to show you the long description. So if you click on about us over here, it will show you a longer description of your DAO that you filled in. Now, you can always edit this as well, and I'll show you that later. So right off the bat, um, I'll show you something. So we go to donate. This donate is uh, available for 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 just any for for DAOs and DAO plus tokens. So either option has this. You can donate Flow or USDC into the treasury. Um, and people they create a token, you can also donate the native token. So let's say I want to send uh, one Flow token in. DAO and I'm going to go and click pay. So once I click pay, it'll bring up the transaction prompt and I click approve and it should be sealed. So it'll bring up this. It'll say, thank you for donating to this DAO. Um, share it on Twitter or Discord. But what's really cool is if we scroll down and go to the recent activity of this DAO, you'll actually see that it shows, right, that Jacob, which is me, and this is really a dot find name. So if you, if you connect a, a, a dot find name, it'll show your name here. Um, it donated this amount of flow. Now you may be asking why it's a 0.95, not one. It's because Emerald City, uh, as the creator of this platform, gets 5% of all donations and um, you know fundraising. So 0.95, it says donation and the date that happened. And there's a message. This is, I love this DAO. So people can send messages, donations, whatever they want into the DAO. Um, now, one thing I will say too is this native token, if you donate this native token, there's no 5% tax on this one. Um, so don't worry about that. Okay, cool. So that is awesome. Now, I believe if we refresh this page, we should see that, um, you know, there appears a funder here. And this is actually me, right? So this is me, my address. Now, I, it doesn't say Jacob here. We will probably add that so that it's all, you know, the same. But it shows that I actually donated, um, you know, some flow. And this is in dollar amount. So it actually automatically converts the flow payment to dollar, right? So this is, uh, you know, Point, the 65 US dollars, um, I'm the funder. And when there's a ton of people funding this project through donations and purchasing, um, this will populate with a bunch of people and there will be a leaderboard. So it's really cool to have a leaderboard of people that are you know contributing to this DAO. And there's also like a, you know, when, when more people donate, there will be a really cool list here as well. Um, and it also tracks holders too. So but we'll get into that in a second. So we can see there's a total supply, max supply, right? Like there's a bunch of cool statistics here. Uh, unique funders, right? I funded this project. Um, yeah, so the cool stuff, right? 
So let's go to Manage DAO, and it'll take us to the admin dashboard. So only you as the project admin can actually view this part. So a lot of stuff to look at, but um, first and foremost, let's just go to the Mint tab. Um, sometimes it'll do that like refresh thing, but that's okay. Let's go to the Mint tab. And so this is where you can actually just mint your tokens very easily. So let's say I want to mint some tokens to myself. Um, I'm going to put in my address and 10 YouTube tokens. So I'm going to add this here and you can put a bunch of different people. You can put another person, you can even upload a CSV, but for the, I'm just going to do this with this one distribution. So I'm going to create this mint action and approve this. Now what this does is this creates what we call a uh, action. And so if we go to this actions queue, this, the actual minting hasn't happened yet. And that's because this DAO is multi-signed, right? There, it, there are, there can be multiple signatures over this treasury. So the project owner cannot just mint tokens. Everyone that's a signer of the DAO has to approve these actions. Now, of course, right now, only I am the signer of this DAO. So I can just approve this and it'll go through. But you can add more signers and increase the threshold of the amount of people required to sign actions. So it's all built in to the uh, platform, which is super nice. So again, uh, you know, it's a signature zero out of one. I'm the only signature that's needed. But it tells all your admins, okay, mint 10 YouTube tokens to jacob.find, right? So I can go ahead, I can sign this and say yes. And if I sign that, boom, it's through. And we can go back to the DAO page. And it should, we should see that there's now a mint action. So we can see that, you know, 10 YouTube tokens were minted to Jacob's address on this date. So again, we really prioritize transparency because that ultimately is what is so important to DAOs, right? For a community of people to know what is going on in the DAO, how tokens are being used, how tokens are being created, that kind of stuff, right? So really, really awesome. Okay. Cool. Um, so that's that. Um, now we can also go ahead and look at funding rounds. So why don't we just try and do that? Let's, let's make a funding round that starts, um, I don't know, like in a minute and ends in two days. Um, we'll make a funding goal of a thousand flow we want to raise and issuance rate of one to one. So if you pay one, you know, flow, you get one YouTube test token, the reserve rate, I'm not going to select anything. That's basically the percentage of tokens donated that'll get reserved in the treasury. It's almost like a tax. And allow overflow is just you saying, you know, people can donate more than the goal, right? Uh, you can turn that off though. You can also select an NFT that's required. So in the in the re real version, this is like a float, a Flovatar, a Ballers, an NBA Top Shot moment. You can select an NFT required to actually participate. And then there's also a very easy way to set up percentages. So you can say, you know what, 50% of the donated funds, I want to go to a charity address or someone else who is managing this funding round, etc. But I'm just going to click uh, approve and, you know, no, no extra settings. And so, uh, boom, that went through. And so we can see now that a funding round has appeared here. And if we go back and refresh our page over here, we should see, um, uh, okay, it hasn't started yet. And actually, I got to do some a little bit of configuring on my end. So hold on one second. Um, I'm going to do this over here. Um, I actually totally forgot how to do this. Um Hopefully this works. Okay, I'm gonna quickly pull up my VS code. This is actually, it's kind of cool if you wanted to see it. I mean, you probably are not here to uh, look at this, but um, this is the uh, smart contract code. But I, because I'm on my local computer, I have to um, quickly um, advance the time of the local emulator because it, does, it doesn't have any concept of time. Um, but okay, I, I believe we should be good now. So I'm gonna go back to my uh, application here. Sorry, that was uh, some quick peek at some, some coding stuff, but okay, it's still not active. Um, hmm. I don't know why. Oh, there it is. Okay, now we're here. Sorry, that was a little blip, but I think it was just waiting for, um, for, for 503 to happen. Okay, cool. So now the funding run has started. And so uh, you can see it's active, you can see the goal, the start date, the end date, the reserve ratio, and the issuance. And so now people can go ahead and go to account B here, right? And click on purchase. So when they go to purchase, they can type in, right? A certain amount of flow they want to donate. So let's say 10 flow and it'll tell them how many YouTube tokens they're going to receive right in return. Okay. And you can even have a special message like, um, I am excited to purchase 
YouTube tokens and click pay, right? And so if you approve this, it says, thank you. You can refresh the page, right? And it shows me, um, you know, 19 point, I have 19.5 YouTube tokens. That's because remember before I minted 10 to me. And then now I'm also, uh, you know, I just bought some. And so it even shows the total funding. Uh, it shows that a purchase just happened with the note that I put. So really awesome stuff. Um, now, to be honest with you, I'm looking here. I don't know why this says zero unique holders because I clearly hold some. Oh, oh, oh I know why. It's because um, the platform doesn't track uh, the owner, but I'm going to be fixing this. Okay, so um, just know that if this was like a separate address that was purchasing mine, it would track that here. But um, sorry, I know that might be a little confusing. Okay, so we have a little funding chart. Uh, again, US dollars and funding all is good, right? Awesome. Okay. So let's go back to the admin page. Uh, you know, it also, you know, it, it shows that 9.5 has been donating a uh, donated of the goal. That's pretty cool. Um, we can also go ahead and burn tokens. So if you wanted to burn 50 YouTube tokens, you could burn that as well. I'm not going to show that here, but you can. Um, here's the overflow tab in case you end up, you know, in case more gets donated than you, uh, you know, originally had in the goal. You can, um, there's actually some cool stuff you can do with overflow. You can either transfer the overflow into your DAO treasury and just, and just, that's cool. Um, you can use it towards the next round, or, um, you can also, uh, donate back a certain amount of flow to the people who contributed to the round. So let's say that I, you know, donated, like I bought like 1% of the goal then 1% of the overflow would come back to me. So it's a cool way to like reward your funders as well. But just to show you that, um, this is an option uh, locking that actually a community member uh, asked for. So you can lock tokens, like you can airdrop tokens to people and lock them for a certain amount of time. So I can actually go ahead and let's just lock some for myself. Um, I'm going to lock 10. Um, now it's, it's weird because I'm acting as the owner and the person receiving, but just imagine that this address is like my friend who I'm locking tokens for. Um, and we can say, you know what, we're going to lock this until I don't know why there's no date picker, but let me just, uh, put in like just some, some basic, I don't know why, sorry, this, this should also be fixed, but I will fix this at some point. Um, okay. So create lock action. Um, if I, so I just locked tokens. So if we go back here and refresh the page, you can see that it also shows, oh, it should show locking. I don't know why it didn't though. Okay. It should show locking. I don't know why it didn't. But if I go to my profile, we should see that maybe it just didn't work. Okay. I'm not exactly sure why that didn't work, but imagine in, in, in the, again, oh, Oh my God, I am so silly. Um, it's because I didn't I didn't sign this action. <laughs> so remember, Toucans, I, I'm saying this to myself at this point, Toucans is a DAO, right? It's a multi-signed treasury. And so, um, you know, I have to approve this action as a signer of that treasury. So I still haven't, you know, uh, approved it. So I just approved it. Okay. So if I go back to my profile now, right. So it shows that I have 10 locked tokens um, and it's two days until I can claim them. So that's pretty cool, right? Um, that is pretty cool for sure. So I can go back to, uh, let's go back to the actual DAO. And now it should say locked tokens, right? Awesome. Um, I know it doesn't appear with the address here, but I will also change that too. Cool. Um, what else do I, did I want to show you? Um, burning, withdrawing. Oh yeah. This is simply how you withdraw tokens. So if you want to withdraw the, I remember I donated 10 flow. Um, if I want to withdraw the 10 flow, I can just do that, right? I can withdraw the flow to myself or whichever address you want. You can, so this is withdrawing is also how you send tokens to someone. So again, it's how you send tokens in the treasury to an external wallet. Um, that's cool. Um, this is how you would add a new signer. You can do that too. Um, you know, let's say if there's another address, uh, you could paste that in here and it would add a new signer. Um, but that's really all I wanted to show you today. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope it proves that Toucans is really awesome. Um, and that's about it. So thanks everyone for tuning in and enjoy the rest of your day.